Provincial dominance in Dagestan is becoming familial dominance. Because most people around the world, well, there was a time, couldn't find Dagestan on the map. Now it is quickly becoming the center of the MMA world. And his cousin just retired with his place on the Mount Rushmore secure of this sport. But the family win streak continues. And now set to make his way to the cage, Patrick Biatilla. Most young boys in Finland are directed by attrition towards hockey. That's really more of the national sport. But it wasn't really for Patrick Biatilla. So he found a different one, rugby. And he thinks that it has uniquely prepared him for an M. And now, making his way, Usman Nurmagomedov! It wasn't the easiest week for Usman Nurmagomedov. Struggle making weight and sit out some of his media sessions. He made some news this week talking about Khabib one day being a better coach than a fighter, which would be an extraordinary accomplishment, something we've been talking about quite a bit with Fedor or John. We saw him on the big stage, though, in L.A. on the Pitbull McKee undercard, and we didn't see him for very long. No, we didn't see him for very long, and it's funny because, you know, people see someone and they think, oh, I think I'm better here. I think I can do this with him. And Manny Murrow is a guy I really enjoy as a fighter. That was his last opponent. He said, I'm mean, John, I'm going to dominate this guy. And after the fight, I talked with him, he says, oh my God, as soon as he hit me, I realized how good he really was. And this kid is special. That knee to the body against Manny Murrow just put him out. He is a supreme striker. He's got unbelievable wrestling. And I'm telling you, when he gets on the ground, his ground and pound is nasty good. He is the whole package. 55 world title will be decided in Dublin in 13 days. Sometime in the not too distant future, Usman Nurmagomedov would like a shot at 155. Well, Usman being 23 years of age, very young, but the one thing is he did have to change the weight. He didn't make that 155, and that says something about how big he's getting and will he be able to stay there. To Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA now features a contract weight matchup at 160 pounds, scheduled for three five-minute rounds live on Showtime. We introduce first the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in 158.5 pounds. His professional record, 11 wins, eight losses, fighting out of Lati, Finland, Patrick Piatila. 
And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at 5 foot 11, weighing in 160 pounds even as a professional. He's undefeated. 13 victories, no defeats. Fighting out of Mahatska, Latagistan, Russia, Usman Namagomedov. And the referee in charge, Kevin McDonald. Yes, be as enthusiastic and happy as Patrick Piatila is your entire life. Maybe things will work out. Maybe he knows something we don't. We're going to find out. That's the best part. <laughs> that was strange. Something happened right there. Yeah. Not sure if he hurt his knee or not. Funny step, and his ankle just went again. That one low calf kick, it has taken and hit the perennial nerve on Patrick. He's having a hard time controlling his foot based upon that one kick. Where is that nerve located? That nerve is running all the way down your leg, but it especially comes towards the surface on the outside of your leg, down by your from your knee to your ankle. That's why that low calf kick has become so just just devastating in our sport because that there's not a lot of meat there's not a lot of muscle for it to be protected by and when it gets damaged it stays damaged for a while level change easy takedown into the guard Usman looking to work no he's gone through the change obviously working with Javier Mendez now in San Jose and of course he lost his coach his uncle well, he came out with his uncle's face on his shirt. That was yeah. Abdelmana Nurmagomedov, and that, that was the guy that they all believed, and that was their coach, and that is the role that Khabib has just taken yeah. over and done so well with. But it is unusual to see Usman taking his opponent down this early in a fight, especially one that you saw damaged. So somewhere, I'm believing in their game plan, they just decided, hey, I want you to go out there and do this. And I want you to take him down. I want you to work on this. I want you to go after him on the ground. And I am telling you, Nurmagomedov's ground and pound is vicious. Trying to pass. Got one good short elbow and he just landed another. Magomedov has only been to the third round twice. And these 13 wins, eight of them have ended in the first round. Now you see the damage that those elbows have done. Nice job bringing his leg up. What people don't understand is they think that, oh, you know, Uzman here is using a lot of strength to stay on top. He's not. He's using base and balance to feel every time Patrick moves. He moves and adjusts his weight so he stays in a good balance with a lot of pressure, which stops everything that Patrick is trying to do as far as getting up. So I'm just trying to get that left leg out so he can pass. As Patrick's got that underhook on this side. You can see it takes yep, it away. There it is. That puts him right to his back. Almost to the mount. And Magomedov is working so hard. He's been about an inch away here. He slides the leg out. Now into side control. He's trying to make that quick move in the mount. He's doing a good job for the moment, keeping him out of it, but Magomedov just too strong. And too technically good. Yeah. You saw how he brought his foot up. Talking about going into S mount, he already is in the position on the back. This fight's going to be over. Nurmagomedov rolls him. So this is deep. Pressure. There's a lot of pain, a lot of pressure on the jaw right there. Now he switches. He switches the grip. Seemed to let it go, though, John. He did. And he just locked it right back up. Wow. And this is even deeper. It's not going to get out. We're done. Checkmate.
the family goes to 72 3 and 1. Dynasty in the making. There you go, Costa Zoo. Yeah. Watch him pass here. Comes up. Patrick actually does a very nice job of blocking the knee, but he still is able to get himself in a position. He goes all the way through. And at this point, Patrick turns. And when he turns, his neck is exposed. He had it with that jaw lock and then blocks it back in. This is deep. There's no way he is getting out of that. He's reaching back. There's no strength there. And he's actually going to sleep as he's tapping. You said he took the fight to the ground earlier than he normally does. It really was almost as if this is what the coaching staff and his family, this is what they scripted they wanted this fight to be. This is exactly what it is. This is what a, a fighter like Usman, he's got so many tools that you don't have to fight the same fight every time. And they're telling him, we want you to go do this. He goes and he does it, and look at the victory. Michael C. Williams has the final word. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a rear naked choke, officially four minutes, six seconds into round number one by submission. Still undefeated, Usman Nurmagomedov. His uncle on his shirt, so very proud, looking down on Usman Nurmagomedov, who goes to 14 and 0, and he's with Mika Vino. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Usman Nurmagomedov. Yes, победителем боя Усманом Нурмагомедовым. This is your 14th victory in a row, your second premature victory in Bellator. Tell us, what are your ambitions and goals in the in the promotion of Bellator? Это твоя 14 победа подряд, вторая досрочная победа в Bellator. Скажи, к чему ты стремишься? Какие у тебя амбиции в Bellator? Приветствую, Москва. Салам алейкум всем. Спасибо, что пришли поболеть за нас сегодня. Я думаю, я уже нахожусь в топ-10. Я думаю, это было несправедливо. Приводить мне на родину такого соперника. Я хотел дать нормальное шоу для моих фанатов, для всех близких. Но, Белатор, пожалуйста, дайте мне кого-нибудь из топ-10 в следующий раз. А то уже хейтеров больше становится. Thank you everyone for your support tonight. I wish I could have had someone from top 10 to put a real performance. And I'm asking Bellator to give me someone from top 10 because the amount of haters are increasing. Usman, I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but how helpful it is to have a legend of Khabib Nurmagomedov in your corner. Усман, скажи, пожалуйста, я уверен, тебя это очень часто спрашивают, но что для тебя значит иметь такую легенду, как Хабиб Нурмагомедов в твоем углу? Для меня это все. Это человек, который э, учит меня, как, э, как вести себя, как э, находиться в обществе людей, как, э, ну, знаете, человек, который учит меня всему. И я не знаю, какая у меня была бы бойцовская карьера без моего старшего брата. Так что я очень сильно благодарен ему. Алхамдулиллах. It means everything to me. I really don't know how my career would go if um, I didn't have my brother Khabib. He really teaches me everything. He teaches me how to behave and act in public. Uh, and of course, the question that I have to ask, how does it feel to fight in your home country of Russia in the first Bellator event? Вопрос, который должен тебя спросить. Скажи, какие твои чувства на тему того, что ты дерешься на первом турнире Bellator в России? Ну, конечно, это потрясающее чувство драться у себя на родине. Смотри, какую публику мы собрали. Всем спасибо, что пришли поболеть. Сегодня здесь у меня вот мой отец, мои дяди. Я... Я очень сильно благодарен этим людям, потому что они очень сильно поддерживают меня. Хочу, также хочу поблагодарить школу Абдумана Панурмагомедова, в котором я проходил подготовку к этому бою, также тренировал. 
Магамеда Багандова, Анзора, Мачаева Мурада, не знаю, Шамиля Заура, старшего брата, который постоянно рядом со мной. И также хотел бы, видели, что мой тренер, Хавир Коуч. Коуч, спасибо за все, за все. Я люблю тебя, Коуч. It's a fantastic feeling to fight in my home country of Russia. I want to thank everyone who supported me. Quite a lot of uncles came in to support me, and I want to thank my coach, Javier, and especially um, a place where I went through the training camp, uh, Abdulman Ab Nurmagomedov's academy. Dame i gospoda, pobiedzitel boja, Usman Nurmagomedov! Ain't nothing but a family thing. Usman Nurmagomedov goes to 14-0. So who's next? Is it Koichi Yamauchi? Is it Brent Primus? He says he wants someone in the top 10, John. I say give him someone in the top 10. He has proved how good he is. He deserves to be in the top 10. He deserves to be fighting the top guys in the division.